Hello and welcome back to Raised on a Garden Pantry. I'm show you and today I have I'm been doing this for years and years and years and I did not realize how much it was really saving me until my son and I figured out exactly how much it was. I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade laundry soap. So all you need is some really basic simple ingredients. You need some borax, washing soda, and a bar of soap. So simple. So watch and find out. Or this soap. I haven't used this one before. Um, so stick around and I'll show you how we can do it. you do is you're going to take your soap now I bought this because I couldn't find this brand I have always used this brand but this one would work too I'm sure but um, all you do is take your soap I'll just use this one and you're gonna grate it up let's get it open and you just grate this up whole bar up and after you're done with that, then we're going to put a little water in the, uh, a pan, a stock pan pot that I have, and I will show you how to finish it. All right, we got this all grated up, Then I just put a little water in the saucepan here. Now this is, and we're gonna dump our shredded, looks like cheese. <laughs> our shredded soap into this pan and I'm gonna turn it on kind of a medium. And all I'm gonna do is um, melt this soap in here. And then after we're done, I will show you what else we do. Okay, so now it is all melted in there. And the thing that I like to do is take the borax and the laundry soda and I just like to mix it up together. It's just easier to handle. And then I just, what I do, cause you're supposed to take um, a cup of borax and a cup of laundry soda and add it to your soap pot here. And that's just how I do it. But, and then you just mix it up here. And then I'm going to take you up to the laundry room well, actually, we're gonna go into the bathroom and I'll show you what we do next. All right, so here I'm in the bathroom. I got my pot, <laughs> it's still warm, and I'm gonna dump it in this five gallon bucket. Okay? Get everything, I'm gonna scoop it in. And then all I'm gonna do is add water to it, about halfway. I have it um, halfway and now we're gonna let this sit till the morning and then we'll come back and I'll show you exactly what it looks like all right so it's the next day and now I'm gonna show you how I finish off this laundry soap okay so this is what the laundry soap looks like it's like it's gelled up see what it's done it's made this gel here so all I do is fill it up with some water and then I squish it all together to get the soap going here. And that is it. Sometimes um, I like to use, here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I like to use a whisk and kind of whisk it in there as well. I used to use, I had an immersion blender, but I killed it because I think I got it to emerge, emerge, <laughs> emerge, or immersion, whatever. So I just kind of whisk it up, and you want those chunks to break up as much as possible because then when you go to refill, I just use an old container about halfway up with the soap mixture and then water, and then I just shake it up. And that is all I use, and I just use the cup like normal. About a quarter of a cup for our loads, but it could be different for you and your family. 
Now this makes about 10 gallons of laundry soap and it works great. And let me tell you the numbers here. Let me get this finished up and I will tell you the numbers of how much 10 gallons of soap costs. And that's it. It just takes a little time to make it. And you're gonna be surprised how much that bucket of soap really does cost. Okay, so that's a five gallon bucket and that makes a concentrate that you add more water <laughs> to it in your um, jug, your laundry jug container or soap container and um, so let's see so I made that batch out of the Fells Napfa and the Fells Napfa bar was a dollar twenty for the bar and we bought um, we have a box I don't remember we didn't write it down but we figured there's eight and a quarter cup of uh, borax in the in the box and we figured it was 73 cents per um, cup of borax and then out of the box of washing soda it was six and seven eighths cups and it was 69 cents a cup so for the whole batch for a 10 gallon batch 10 gallon batch of soap laundry soap here we go you ready it's let's see where did you put it it is two dollars and sixty two cents for 10 gallons that's right, 10 gallons, 10 gallons of laundry soap. I did not even realize it was that reasonable and I have made this for 10 plus years and I remember when the bar of soap was like 80 cents, so it was even cheaper. So if you really want to save some money, try this. All of the investment really is is a 10 gallon bucket, or sorry, a five gallon bucket from the um, from Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. <sighs> See if you like it. It smell. It just doesn't. And if that's what you are looking for, and, and this is not going to be the the soap for you, but it does really it does really clean well. And I I've used it for years and years and years through little babies where they are you know they have messes and food and things, and it has worked fantastic. So give it a try. Now with the Zote, which I have never tried before. I think I picked that bar up because I couldn't find the Fels Napfa. Now the Zote bar um, is almost 14 ounces, so my son and I were figuring that out where if you cut that in about thirds, you know, use about a third of that bar to make a batch up for a 10 gallon uh, soap container. And that is even cheaper at $1.96 for 10 gallons. So if you want a little cheaper and you like that soap, there you go. I mean, it's not that much soap or that much difference, but you know, if you can't find it or also people I have, tr I have tried before that Castile soap, um, that one's a little more, a little more expensive, I think than the Fel Napa, but I think that's more of a natural soap. So if you really want more of a natural um, laundry soap, I would go for that one. So I hope that can help and that can help you save some money overall.